As Imperial Guard are ruling the roost with indirect fire and have so much of it, and are chasing auto wounding sixes with Hammer of the Emperor, the question is what is the best guard indirect fire platform? I'm going to do a cheeky tier review of all the options to help you pick. To start with let's look at the factors I'll be using in the comparison, various things like points cost, number of shots, strength, strats, base size and a few other things. Guard only hit 50% of the time anyway and auto wounding sixes only on 16%, so anything you can do to get more dice or reroll anything massively helps. Also, the strength and AP of guns ultimately helps most with the conversion to damage. Let's jump into the tiering and talk a little bit about each unit. Starting off with tier 3, we've got the Death Strike at the bottom. 120 points for one shot per game, and it's a lot. He has a weird firing mechanism, so it's likely you'll only get to fire it late in the game when it's less efficient. And it can't be fired turn 1, and there's only a 16% chance of firing it turn 2. The Griffin Mortar Carrier. Basically a mortar in a tank chassis, which I'm not sure you can even still buy anymore, but you can definitely kit bash. Just doesn't perform in any criteria against other units, so definitely third tier. Combat Engineer Squad. A Krieg only unit for 25 points can take a mole launcher. It's actually one of the best for just how cheap it is for the number of shots. But only being 24 inches, it doesn't really score well in other measures. And if you're really seriously doing tournament play, you're probably not taking Krieg either. The Earthshaker Carriage Batteries and Variants. Bit of a controversial one this, as I think they look great on the battlefield. However, the cost for the amount of shots and the damage they do just isn't that brilliant. You can roll 2d6 and pick the highest when you're choosing the number of shots, but they don't really have that many strats or rerolls available. And 120 points for only d6 shots, it's actually a lot. I've been playing these quite a lot recently just because they look so good, and they really do nothing. Tier 2 where it starts to get interesting. Heavy mortar battery. The standard middle of the road out of line of sight shooter. D6 shot, strength 6, minus 1 AP and 2 damage. It does a good job for 70 points. Colossus Bombard. Definitely near the bottom of tier 2. It's a cool model, but being Forge World, it costs quite a bit to buy. It's actually only in tier 2 at all because of its damage dealing ability, particularly against T4 infantry with its 3D3 shots and D3 damage. And it also ignores cover. Other than that, it's just lower end of the middle tier. Wyverns, a pretty unused unit to be honest. They get quite a few buffs like the Basilisk, which I'll mention shortly. They perform well or middle of the ground in most measures that I've used. This is mainly due to having weight of dice with having 4d6 shots and damage ability with its native reroll fail wounds. Master of Ordnance, only 35 points for a one time artillery strike, and it hits on threes if you can see the target, fours if it's out of line of sight. It's one guy, easy to hide, only 35 points, can fire once, but you can might as well have a few of them. It'll buff your manticores and your basilisk with reroll hits to one. For Cadian armies, which is the majority of tournament players, they're not going to be excited about this because they get it anyway. But it's still a really cool unit, and if you're not playing Cadian, then it's a must take. Basilisks. You probably expect to see these in the top tier, however, for me, it just doesn't quite reach there. They have the Earthshaker gun, which I've already put in tier 3, but the difference with this platform is that you get a lot more buffing potential. As I've said, the Master of Ordnance gives a reroll of 1. Aerial Spotter's strat for 2 CP gives reroll all failed hits, and you can make it shoot twice for 2 CP. It's just its cost per shot, or cost per point of damage, isn't low enough, and overall damage output ability isn't quite high enough when compared to other platforms that keeps it in tier 2. The Medusa and other variants. These are top of tier 2 in my book and could have been in tier 1. Its siege cannon is a beast with d6 shot strength 10, minus 3 AP. It's swingy but impressive damage with d6 damage. Second only to the manticore and overall damage output potential. And performs well in other cost measures as well. The only thing that keeps it out of top tier is its shorter 36 inch range and fewer buffing options. Taking the Armageddon variety with its 12 inch move can help with that shorter range though. A really good heavy hitting unit when you need to punch and kill something big. Now it's time for my top picks. Quad Heavy Mortar. Bottom of the top tier, but perform well across all measures, 4d6 shots means its weight of dice does a lot of work. Only beaten by the Heavy Weapon Squad for the cheapness of shots. Having that amount of firepower in a single model makes quite a big difference if you think of the amount of bases you've got to place. It's easy to hide as you're going to have fewer bases that you need to deal with. Heavy Weapon Squad with mortars. The cheapest way of getting out of line of sight shooting. Only 50 points for 3d6 shots. Only strength 4, no AP and 1 damage. It's the weight of dice you get from these that will make the difference and auto wounding 6s are the best buff for these guys. Being infantry you can also give them orders like take aim to reroll ones. If the Cadians in the haven't moved then take aim actually does reroll all hits. When they get tagged they can fall back and be ordered to still shoot. And also with the latest balanced data slate infantry squads can bring a mortar team for free. For the points pack loads of these in your army. The Manticores. A lot of people's favourite 2d6 strength 10 shots. And while it only fires 4 times for 155 points it still hits the top tier for value. And it's the very best in overall damage output, even against T8 units. There are some good buffs available. The ever-present Master of Ordnance for reroll ones. You've got a strat that can make it hit on threes if you can see the target. And it's the main place to use your tank ace ability, as most people put full payload, which takes it to damage flat three instead of D3. Truly a must take, and it's a shame you can only take one full payload. A quick roundup. Best for dealing damage. You've got the Manticore and Medusas because of their high strength. 
and also the quad heavy mortars just because they weigh to dice. Cheapest cost per shot to the heavy weapon squads, quad heavy mortars and even the wyverns. And the cheapest cost per damage points, you got the heavy weapon squad, quad heavy mortars again, manticores and medusas. Really interested to know your experience and which artillery is the best for you. Please drop us a comment and otherwise see you again soon. Bye.